Hello, my friend. I am at um, the property on Second Terrace. The unit number is escaping me right now. 216. Um, I just walked through it. Um, I'm going to give you the scoop here in just a second. Uh, I like that though. It's not just a metal roof. It's a standing seam metal roof which I love. That's better than the 5V crimp, I'm sure you know. I want to show you guys, show you the neighborhood. It's, um, uh, it's, it's, it's nice. It's, uh, but this is still as far north in Sat Beach as you can get before you get to Patrick Air Force Base, which is going to be like the worst part of Satellite Beach. Uh, there's still like, like if you go a little ways further down, one of the houses is a dog. Um, but this is like the last place where flippers still are finding opportunity beachside. Um, but it's getting rarer and rarer. Like this one over here looks like it could use some love, the yellow one. Uh, but right across the street, it's cute, nice. Everything seems to be in good repair. People are taking decent care of their lawns. Not that guy. Not that guy with the big van. But um, right next door on this side, it looks it's passable. Their yard is not great, but, you know, that's not the worst I've seen either. Oh, that'll be for sale soon. Like, it still has the old-school jealousy window. Can you see that? Anyway, all right. Let's get inside this one. Let's talk about this one. A lot of stuff I really like. A couple things I'm going to point out that I don't like, because you know me. That's what I do. Uh, nice paver driveway. Oh, you know what? Patrick Air Force Base. Can you see that? I am so glad that went by when I was out here. That's not common, but it's not uncommon. It's cool as hell, actually. Uh, nice wide driveway, little space on the side for the trailer. Oh, they got a uh, shower set up out here, but it's just a spigot. They also have a, an exterior shower in the back too, which is super nice to have here at this close to the ocean. Uh, exterior could use some paint. It's chalky. Uh, pavers are really, really nice. Uh, and they have these lights. And the pavers too. So, I, no doubt it looks gorgeous uh, at night when it's all lit up pretty. Really nice paver work. Old windows. These are some old windows. Old single panes. So you're not gonna get any insurance discounts because I don't think I see, well, maybe they've shut our accommodations. I'll have to look for in the garage again. Um, come inside. It's good. It smells good. It's clean. I confirmed it is definitely staged. In fact, I found one of my, uh, she's one of my good friends, the stager. Uh, her name's McKaylee Ryan. I can connect you if you want to like furnish or something. You can see where they've made some cast iron repairs or maybe cast iron repairs are still needed. Hard to miss that. Kitchen's nice. I mean, it's definitely not a flip though. It's been used, right? They, they've been using this cutting board when they were cooking. Uh, nice cabinets, soft clothes, nice appliances. Oversized one car garage, which is super common here beachside. Uh, this door is a hollow core interior door. It should not be there. That should be, you know that. It should be fire rated, yada, yada. Not the worst infraction, but something I'm going to point out because I'm your eyes and ears. Um, really nice washer dryer setup. Um, gas, natural gas, water heater, gas AC uh, heater over here. Um, again, not common on this side of the state. June 2020 on the uh, water heater. Um, we have a crown in here. They did some up updated recessed lighting in here. Nice stuff, nice stuff, nice paint, uh, nice color palette on the inside. Very, very common layout here beach side. This is I would say this is probably actually the most common layout. Guest room, it's 
Four walls, a window, and a closet. You know what this is. Old single pane windows again. So they had some condensation type issues with the AC at some point. Little linen closet. Bathroom still has old tile. I'm wearing shorts because you're my only client who I think I might see today, so. Uh, tub, back to the original, I mean, not original, but it's not, not been updated to the newest stuff, but it's, it certainly looks good. It's in, it's in serviceable condition. I don't see a lot of missing grout or anything that gives me concern about what might be behind it. Uh, there is, there's still something in the hallway I wanted to point out. Just another closet here. Got a, got a cosmetic crack. That looks like they probably had some, uh, I would wager that's dry, obviously. Uh, we get an inspector in here to confirm that. I'm betting that predates the new roof, but that's the inspector's job, right? Terrazzo. It's kind of the green and reds and colors. I actually don't mind Terrazzo, but the problem with this one is going to be that they did have carpet on it at some point, so it's got the ugly, all the evidence of old tax strips and stuff that were used to be pounded in. So, I mean, it might clean up. It, it probably wouldn't clean up nicely. It wouldn't. You'd probably want to put tile over it at some point. Uh, but, you know, bedroom. Closet. Here is the owner's suite. Good size. That is a king size bed. Little closet. Old window. This one's in good shape though. Stall shower. Again, so again with some ceiling issues. Moisture. You know, fun fact, you probably know this. Uh, Florida building code is that you don't need the exhaust fan in the bathroom if you have a window, right? But not everyone opens their window. So bet you dollars to donuts. This room stays pretty humid and you know what happens next. All right, let's check out the backyard because the backyard is actually a really nice selling feature here. This is a nice, I mean, this is probably a $15,000 uh, impact rated slider. That is nice. That is nice. Nice paperwork on the patio again, on the back patio, herringbone. Uh, shower, it's not plumbed with hot water, they never are. But it's just a rinse off in the backyard. Uh, there's your new AC, there is your gas service. Perfect little tiki out here. Great for just sitting. Just, I mean, just they, they've demonstrated exactly how you'd want to use it. It's got nice lighting. I bet it, I bet it, I bet it's super chill out here. This is a great exterior spot. Decent sized yard, pretty big yard. Um, fully fenced. Um, overhead utilities back there, not a big concern. Just something I'm gonna point out. You know, what's interesting is that they have like darker, lusher green spots there. Dark, lush green spot kind of in the middle here, but then you have like patches where it's just different, which, you know, if this house were on septic, I'd be like, oh, I bet that's a drain field, but it's not. Speaking of, here is the sewer cap in the backyard, which tells me that this is obviously the utility easement because there's your overheads. There's your undergrounds. This is cool as hell. In fact, it's also just cool in here because this sweet, sweet shed, shed is underselling it. This is a, this is a full blown living space uh, because it, it's under air. That mini split has it 76 degrees in here. It feels great in here. So, from an Airbnb perspective, you could build, you could finish this out as a one-one. I mean, again, again, you're you're you are running afoul of City of Satellite Beach. They do not, they do not welcome uh, Airbnbs. 
but they don't they don't go after them either they don't they don't they don't penalize them aggressively unless your neighbors are making a big stink about it you know what's your own threshold your own risk threshold right so but yeah this is a cool space it's finished out, drywall, lights, fan, like I said, AC. I don't know how challenging it would be to plumb it. Cool space. All right, this is pretty much what you got. I mean, I'm almost as tall as the door here. When I'm 5'10", this is like a six foot tall door maybe, so. I'm not how tall you are. But yeah, this is the long and the short of it. I like it a lot. And I'm going to call you and we're going to discuss strategy. Uh, probably on my way home from here. All right, brother. I'll talk to you soon.